Hey there, it's Hannah from My STEM Kits and I'm going to talk to you about our basic shapes kits. The four two-dimensional shape kits we have are on triangles, quadrilaterals, circles, and polygons. Altogether, these four kits create a comprehensive geometry set perfect for any elementary classroom. The research has shown that not only is it important for students to see the exemplars of shapes, it's also important for them to see a wide variety of variants and more than that, even distractors. We also have things like concave quadrilaterals. We have kites and rhombuses and parallelograms and irregular trapezoids. All of these things that classify as quadrilaterals but aren't exactly what students are used to seeing in their textbooks or in other diagrams or other shape kits that might be available. But more than that, we go a step further by providing a lot of distractors. So throughout our kits, we have shapes with beveled edges or curved edges. We have egg shapes and ovals in our circles kit, even an open shape in our polygons kit, so that students have to really figure out the defining attributes of what makes each shape that specific shape. So these kits are really good for just sorting. The students can go through, they can classify what is the polygon, what isn't, what type of polygon is it, how many sides does it have, what do its angles look like, different things like that so that the students can be looking at all the different attributes of the shapes. But this is far more than just a desk activity where students are sorting things. There are a lot of great games that you can play with your students to get a hands-on interactive experience for them that they're absolutely going to love. Is you attach magnets to the back of it. It's ready to go on a whiteboard so you can do front of class displays. With the whiteboards also you can then do Venn diagrams where you're classifying the shapes on the whiteboard. Students can just move things around. You can actually take a string and secure a magnet to the end of the string and then let the students go fishing for polygons. Whether or not they're looking for specific attributes, are they looking for specific angles, what type of vocabulary can you use with the students to get them to get the right type of shape. Another great game to play with these kits involves fly swatters. So what you do is you put a fly swatter with each of the students and you put them around a big table far enough away from each other and then you task the students once again with these vocabulary terms with the attributes of the shapes and you give them challenges like first student to find that triangle again can either keep it maybe they get points maybe they're doing addition in math to figure out how many points they have so it's just the students are going to have a blast there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with it so last thing i want to talk about with this kit is just that the kit comes with one extra really nice feature, especially if you're doing worksheet activities. And that feature is that all of the shapes you see here are labeled with an alphanumeric code. They can just write down the numbers so it's really easy for you and really easy to use in the classroom. We do offer another basic shape kit and that is our basic shape right solids kit. Now that kit is actually built of solids and you can see it behind me on the display case here. One of the cool things about our two-dimensional shape kits is that they actually interact with our three-dimensional ones. So, for instance, the square pyramid is actually built to be the same size as square Q11. Same with one of our cubes. So students can actually hold the square up to the edges of the cube to see that all six faces are the same size as this square. So whatever activity you do with this, whether you're fishing for polygons or you're playing with fly swatters or you're building Venn diagrams on the whiteboard or just sitting there on your desk really exploring these different shapes, you're bound to have a blast and the students are going to get a hands-on interactive experience with geometry that's going to build the foundation for a lot of other things. Can't wait to see exactly how you're going to use it in your classroom.